Hi, today I have another problem about population genetics, and here is the problem. If the genotypes capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, and uh, small a, small a, have frequencies 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and 0 0.25 respectfully, what are the p-frequencies of the dominant allele A, and what is the uh, q-frequency of the recessive uh, allele A uh, after a single generation of the random mating what is the expected frequency of the homozygous dominant heterozygous and uh, homozygous recessive if you know how to apply Hardy-Weinberg formula you may stop video here try to solve this problem and then you can run video again and compare your answer with my answer and explanation so in order to solve this problem, I'm going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula that gives us frequency of the alleles as um, p squared plus 2pq plus q squared and all this equals to 1 and p plus q equal to 1 where P squared, P squared stands for the homozygous dominant, uh, P to Q stands for the heterozygous, that is capital A, small a, and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype, and all this equals to 1. So P that is stands for the all alleles uh, that is uh, dominant, that is capital A, and Q stands for the all alleles that is recessive, small a. So if we uh, take uh, all these alleles and uh, add them together, we are also going to get 1. So we also told that the frequencies of these alleles are for the homozygous dominant is frequency 0 0.5, for the heterozygous is 0 0.25, and for the uh, homozygous recessive also 0 0.25 and this is the frequencies uh, in the existing population so we can add these frequencies together and once again we are going to get 1 so uh, how we are going to approach this problem in order to solve um, this problem and answer the first question we have to find frequencies of P and Q in this population and as you see here uh, heterozygous consists of the uh, dominant allele A and uh, one uh, recessive allele A so half of this genotype uh, have allele A and uh, half have a uh, small allele uh, a that is uh, recessive and one that is dominant. So uh, in order to find uh, frequency of P and Q we just have to uh, divide this number by half and add half to uh, frequency of the homozygous dominant alleles and half of them uh, add to the uh, homozygous recessive and this is how we find uh, the frequency of the um, P and Q or dominant and recessive allele. So let's do it. So 0 0.5 we add 0 0.125 that is half of the 0 0.25 and the answer here would be 0 0.625 and this is frequency of the P allele or we also can say that this is frequency of the dominant allele A. So the frequency of the Q would be 0 0.25 plus uh, one half of the heterozygous that is 0 0.25 
zero point one two five sorry and the answer here would be zero point three seven five and this is going to be frequency of the recessive allele A or Q. So if we add uh, zero point six two five plus um, frequency of the uh, Q that is zero point three seven five we are going to get one just like uh, in our example here and this part of the formula so uh, now we can solve the second part of our problem and answer the second question so after a single generation of random mating what is the expected frequency of the homozygous dominant heterozygous and uh, homozygous recessive once again we are going to use our formula of Hardy-Weinberg formula in order to solve uh, this problem. So we know P and Q, so we can find uh, Q squared. We just have to uh, square the Q and the frequency of Q is 0 0.375 and the answer here would be 0 0.14 and now we also can find uh, homozygous dominant in this uh, F1 generation so P squared would be equal to uh, number P also squared so this is going to be 0 0.625 we can square it or just uh, we can uh, multiply by itself so we are going to get here 0 0.39 and now when we know uh, frequency of the homozygous dominant frequency of the homozygous recessive we also can find frequency of the heterozygous so uh, heterozygous frequency would be so this is going to be 2 pq that equals to we have a uh, number of the p that is uh, 2 multiplied by 0 0.625 and multiplied by number q that is 0 0.375 and the answer here would be 0 0.47 and this is would be frequency of the heterozygous so this is going to be homozygous recessive this is frequency of the homozygous dominant and this is frequency of the heterozygous so this is uh, frequency in the new population and as you see, this is different from what we have in the parent uh, generation. So compare uh, these frequencies with uh, new frequencies that we got. And that tells us that uh, this uh, population are not in, uh, in the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, probably because there is uh, some uh, gene flow or there is uh, non-random mating or there can be some other reasons so we solve it our problem we answer it two questions and this is the answer for the second question this is going to be new frequencies here is the frequency of the parent population here is the frequency of the F1 population and if you add all these numbers once again you are going to get 1 so our answer is correct um, that's all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day write comments thumbs up if you like this video goodbye